I'm Dixon Patton, Jr. I'm a Gana Yorta Yorta, Wiradjuri, Yuan, Dudarawa artist. I was born and bred in Melbourne, and I come from a family of storytellers. Yeah, I'm the lead uh, artist and storyteller for Bayella Creative. And Bayella Creative was started um, just with, you know, our ethos is around indigenising spaces and uh, ensuring that the broad Australia um, get to hear our messages in our stories, but also for First Nations people to, to uh, see themselves and have an opportunity to embed their stories in the broader society as well. Every engagement that I do, I always remember um, the information and knowledge my elders gave me and senior artists across Victoria gave me. I was lucky enough to be around a lot of artists and, and, and for them to share their knowledge and you know their processes and being authentic to that process. And you know, they opened a lot of doors for me. There were 10 images in total and each of them had their own uh, inspiration. Some were centered around totems. Uh, some were centered around um, country and place, being here on um, you know, Bunjil's country. Uh, some of the work was centered around you know, how we connect and how we welcome people uh, in, in culture. And then also just um, encouraging that, that you know, walking into reconciliation, what that means um, for you know, the general population. Any engagement that I do, it's really hard to separate history. It's really hard to separate my experience and my family's experience from any of the storytelling processes. Everything that we are and, and what we do is you know, centred around healing. It's centred around reclaiming, especially here in Victoria. So you know, it's hard to be triggered by some of the engagements as well. Um, but a part of that, like I said, there's, there's healing as well that I get from. I get to reclaim a bit of myself every time I do these um, artworks. You know, it, it's one time ago, we, didn't, we weren't asked to come to the, the table to speak about our own affairs. You know, now storytellers and, and people that are you know, uh, rewriting policy get to shape where we go as a community, as an Aboriginal um, community as well. And so, you know, it's the first time as a collective that it's us telling our stories. It's us telling it from our perspective and, and in the truth too. We, we owe it to the elders before us that open the doors for us to walk through them and that encourages the mob you know, uh, behind us to walk through as well.